All right, let's see uh, what I can do with this here. So this is the problem. And I, I really don't like it when my A uh, is negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to negative. I'm going to put the negative sign out there. And I'm going to make it x squared minus 15x plus 56. So now it is this that I'm factoring. And when I'm all done, I'll just stick the negative sign back in the front. So my a times my c is 56. And I have to find factors of 56 that add up to negative 15. So I start my factors. I always start with 1. So 1 and 56, there's no way that's going to add up to 15. And then I'd have, what, 2 and 18. And that's not going to add up to, to 15 at all. And will 3 go into that? 3 won't go. 4 will go. I'll have 4 and what is that? Uh, 1, 4, 4 and 14. That's not going to add up. And 5 isn't going to work. And how about 6? Will 6 work? 6 doesn't go into that. 7. Oh, wait. 7 goes into that. I have 7 and 8. So I see there's going to be my 15. And since I have to add up to negative 56, it's going to be negative 7 and negative 8. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to factor it. I'm going to leave my negative sign here. And again, using the surefire method, all I have done is I've changed this negative 15x to negative 7x and negative 8x. So it's going to look like x squared minus 7x minus 8x plus 56. So again, all I did was I changed the negative 15x into negative 7x um, minus, uh, minus 8x. So now that I've done that, I am going to group these. So I'm going to put a parenthesis around my first two terms, and I'm going to put a parenthesis around my second two terms. But as soon as I put the parentheses around the second two terms, this negative sign applies to the 8x, which was fine because I had a negative 8x, but it also applies to the 56. So that would change this into minus 56, but as you can see, I need it to be plus 56. So what I need to do is I need to change this plus sign here into a negative sign. Now I have negative 8x, and negative times a negative is a positive. I still have my positive 56. So now I'm at negative, and I got this bracket here. And I'm going to factor an x out of this. So I have x times x minus 7 minus, and out of this, I'm going to factor out an 8 times x minus 7. That makes me happy because I know that I needed to have this and this be the same. So now out of this thing right here, I have negative. I'm going to undistribute an x minus 7. So I go x minus 7 times x minus 8. And there's my answer. Now I can just bring the negative. I can get rid of these brackets here, and I can just have negative x minus 7 times x minus 8. So in looking at your factoring, you, you clearly have an intuitive sense that it's x minus 7 times x minus 8 with a negative sign in the front. I'm not sure where you got negative x plus 7 times x plus 8. Because you're right, that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't work. Is the, the 7 times the 8 would be a, um, well, no, that would be a positive 56 and a minus. But then that would make the 15x uh, negative. Hmm. And I think we should talk.